Hi guys, welcome back to the MCM Buzz Stage here live in Birmingham and I'm very proud to say that we have Warwick Davis with us. Say Hello. hi everyone. Thanks very much, thank you. You have a big turnout of you. I mean look at this, this is amazing and I'm not surprised because you've been in... ...be here so uh, <laughs> they're all paid but thanks for being here. Are you having a good time? Yeah? It's a great show this, isn't it? It's, it, it's a show with a lot of history, so it's, um, it's well established and there's lots to do and see here. Um, it's, it's pretty fun. Favourite experience of the day so far was uh, a lady who has made this costume which makes it look as if she is Princess Leia sitting on the shoulders of Wicket the Ewok. <laughs> if you oh see God. it, it's the most incredible illusion. Um, it, it's brilliant. It's the similar way that Bernie Clifton used to ride around on an emu. Uh, in the olden yeah. days and yeah. and yeah look out for her it's amazing that's fantastic i mean obviously you must see see lots of of things at the comic cons and you've done so many conventions does anything particularly stand out for you what uh, from doing conventions mm. i mean just really the the kind of the love of the fans really i mean um you know that's why we're all here as as, as actors because it's a great way of gauging your success and in, in your performance because the fans will tell you whether you're any good or not. <laughs> you know, as a film actor, you don't get an audience reaction. So this is where we get our audience reaction. And, uh, you know, w without these guys, you know, we, we wouldn't be, have the success that we have. So I really do appreciate you getting out there, seeing the films and, and enjoying them and getting involved as you do. Um, I think it's absolutely fantastic, so. Well, obviously you have fans from lots of different shows because yes. you've been on some huge franchises we have to talk about Star Wars. I mean, yep. you've been in all three trilogies, and yeah. you, I feel like you're a, an ambassador of sorts for the Star Wars Well, franchise. kind of. I mean, I, I was a fan in 1977 when I went to see Star Wars at the age of seven, and that has never left me. So as well as being in the films, I am a fan. I love the Star Wars movies. So in a way, I have become an ambassador because I just like talking about them whenever I can. Uh, and I share the passion of, of, of the fans uh, here today as well and um, was very excited to hear that they were doing The Force Awakens. You know, when they announced a new Star Wars movie, um, you know, I never thought I would see the day when we'd learn what happens to the characters beyond the end of Return of the yeah. Jedi. Uh, and uh, there's so much energy behind Star Wars now, what with Rogue One and, of course, the shooting of Episode Eight now. It's just fantastic. Are you in episode eight? Uh, yeah, I am in it. Yeah, people spotted me filming in Dubrovnik last weekend, so uh, I got busted. You got outed. <laughs> <laughs> and are you going to be playing multiple roles again? I can't speak about my involvement in the film uh, in any detail at all at this point. And uh, obviously, you know, in the original movie, Return of the Jedi, with your, with your first appearance, you play Wicket the Ewok. I love the Ewoks, Thank and uh, I, I've always wanted to dress up as one. Well. Probably a bit too sort of tall now, maybe when I was a kid. <laughs> but uh, if, if you were going to give someone a tip of how to be an Ewok, what would you tell them? How to be an Ewok? Um, well, you know, the, the character Wicket was actually based on my pet dog at the time. Oh. Uh, I noticed that whenever a dog is curious about uh, hearing a strange sound, they tilt their heads like that. So I did quite a lot of that. And um, also, you know, the thing about Ewoks is that their faces are inanimate. There were no moving parts. So to bring my face to life, I was fortunately able to get my own tongue between the teeth. So if you watch <laughs> the film, you see Wicket's little tongue when he's talking. That's my own tongue just managing to get through. They weren't designed for that. It's just something I was able to do, which, you know, gave the whole thing a little bit more life. Um, but you have to have a bit of stamina as well. It's very hot in an Ewok costume. Uh, you also have to be very short. So that's my top tips on being an Ewok. So act a bit like a dog and be able to take the heat. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And um, obviously one of the scenes that we remember you from is, is your scene with Princess Leia. And you got to reenact that um, at the 30th anniversary. Can you tell us about that? Yeah. Um, if you remember Return of the Jedi, Wicket discovers Princess Leia. She's crashed a speeder bike. She's unconscious. And I come along with my spear and, uh, and give her a poke. And she wakes up. Um, I had the privilege of interviewing Carrie at Star Wars Celebration Europe a couple of years ago. And uh, 
while she was on stage, I couldn't resist asking if we could recreate that scene for the fans, the 2,000 fans in the room at that point. And, uh, and we did. So she laid on the floor. Her dog was on stage as well, ripping one of my little Ewok teddies to shreds. Um, and then we got behind the couch and we popped up as if we were popping up from behind the log in the movie as well. So yeah, it was a, it was a pretty accurate recreation, <laughs> except I wasn't hairy. And then um, we have to ask you as well about the other big franchise that you've been in and multiple roles in is Harry Potter. And I thought you were going to say Leprechaun, but uh, you I didn't. want to say Leprechaun as well. As no, well. I I just, I'm <laughs> joking. Uh, there are some people who have seen Leprechaun here. And uh, you can I'm see them a mile off. They're slightly odd. Well, I've seen it. And I want to ask you, do you remember the rap from Leprechaun yeah, in the I hood? Mean, it's pretty embarrassing though, isn't it? I mean... White people can't rap, I don't think. And I just was no good at doing it. But uh, it was a, I come from the land of the Irish Spring. Dublin's the place where I do my thing. And I don't remember the rest of it. But there you go. Fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to awesome. applaud. Don't humor me, <laughs> honestly. But, um, yeah, so Harry Potter. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, what an amazing series of films. Um, J.K. Rowling, something, she's created something amazing. In a similar way to George Lucas created something amazing. Something that becomes part of popular culture forever. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and pretty much everyone on the planet will have heard of or seen in some form or another. That's quite an achievement. Um, and uh, it was lovely to be part of it and able to bring a few of her characters to the screen uh, as well. So it was great. Because you played uh, Professor Flitwick in sort of two versions, and then you uh, it managed to act again with Daniel Radcliffe as a wood elf in uh, <laughs> in extras. How was that? And uh, uh, yeah, it, it was hilarious. good. Um, it's quite interesting doing extras because Daniel wasn't allowed to wear a school uniform. You see, so to get around that, they put him in a scout uniform because they didn't want any similarity between him in that and him in Harry Potter. But he still wore round glasses, which to me, you know, really kind of typifies Harry Potter. Um, but Daniel kept laughing. The outtakes uh, are on the DVD and also on YouTube, but you should check them out because every time I did my little elf acting, Daniel couldn't help but kind of laugh. Um, but uh, yeah, we had fun. I, I enjoyed calling him a specky little git, <laughs> which is great. I've been holding that in for years while we were making the movies. I couldn't wait. Now, now you can say it to everyone. <laughs> well, I'm afraid that's all we have time for. Aww. Thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate it. No Good worries. luck with the Star Wars movies. Thank you very and much. And everyone say thanks to Warwick Davis. Cheers. Thank you. Thank you very much. And remember just to stay tuned because we will be back very soon with our next panel. And remember, we are on Twitter and on YouTube and we have some giveaways for you with signed copies from people like Warwick so if you want to uh, have a chance of winning those then keep watching and subscribe <laughs>